Welcome to Backwards News. Rants you can trust. Warning, this is a rant channel. All persons in this video are real and the events are factual. Satirical speech may be used to comment and criticize on subjects. All right, everybody, welcome to Al's Backwards News. If the story is backwards, I'm going to bring it to you. Go and get you something to drink, get a beverage, and sit down. We're going to have a long conversation about this church boy right here, Lee Chatfield. Bad ass Lee Chatfield, former Speaker of the House of Representatives in Michigan, a politician. His daddy is the pastor of the church. Bad ass Lee Chatfield is in trouble. He cannot control his penis, he can't control it. He's a sexual predator. Don't stand still. He'll poke you in the butt. So the shit that hit the fan. The shit that hit the fan. Lee Chatfield's sister-in-law. Do you hear me? His sister-in-law says she is tired of his penis. She is done with him. She says she met Lee in Lee's father's church. Her, his, Lee's father, Chatfield's father, is the pastor. They met at church. They started having intercourse when she was 15. She says she was underage and manipulated, and that's rape. She says she has sex with Lee from the age of 15 for about the next 15 years. She almost 30 years old now. She been having sex with Lee. Lee's married. Lee is married and she is married. That's his sister-in-law. Ugh. I guess that's how they get down. I don't know. So she says she tired of Lee and she letting everybody know how he rolled. Lee is so fucking down and dirty. His lawyer contacted her lawyer. His lawyer made a public announcement and said Lee has sex with everybody. He has sex with it. He always cheating on his wife. Y'all know how he rolled. And he did not rape her. He had consensual sex with her. With his sister-in-law. And continued to have consensual sex with, her, with his sister-in-law. All for the next 15 years. Behind his family back. When she would come over and babysit the kids. And... The sister-in-law's lawyer, the sister-in-law's lawyer, Mrs. Jamie White, admitted to everybody that on the sister-in-law's wedding night, Lee snuck in there and they had sex in a closet because he got to give her the penis. So what are we going to do with this guy? Nobody wants to touch Chatfield anymore. They sick of him. He dirty and nasty. Old dirty bastard. Nobody want to touch him anymore. Gay people don't like him. He cause he say he a Christian and he don't like gay people. They argue all the time. Black people sick of him cause he don't like black people. He and they vote for him. And now nah, nobody likes him. He don't have a friend in the world. So I tell you what's going to happen next. The sister-in-law has a lawyer. She's filed the police report. The lawsuit is coming next. The lawsuit is coming next. So listen closely. 
all you ladies that went to Northern Michigan Baptist Bible Church where Lee Chatfield daddy is the pastor or the school that is associated with the church the Northern Michigan Christian Academy in Burt Lake or if you just walk down the street and Lee Chatfield talk to you go and get your lawyer right now go and get your lawyer at, at the academy, they say Lee Chatfield was a teacher, uh, athletic director, and a coach. If he put his hand on you any kind of way, go talk to the lawyer, Miss Jamie White. Write your name down for the lawsuit. Now, when you get in on the lawsuit, your parents are going to beg you to be quiet. They're going to say, don't tell anybody what happened. You're going to embarrass our family. You're going to embarrass the church. Pick up whatever's close to you, a bottle, a coffee mug, and smash it into your parents' head. Then leave the house, get your lawsuit going, and by this summer, you're going to have a brand new Ford Bronco and a new house. And Lee Chatfield will hopefully be in jail. Number two, I'm not going to look up the sister-in-law name, the brother name, where they live at, how many kids they got. I'm going to let Maury Povich figure that out because, brother, I bet you are not the father. I'm going to let Maury Povich figure this out. And in the articles I've been reading, they just set in Lee Chatfield on fire. They just set him on fire, talking about how stupid he is. Always talking about he a conservative and he a Christian. They said in 2018, this dummy got on an airplane, tried to get on an airplane with a loaded, unregistered gun and his carry-on luggage. And they had to arrest his ass. He had to pay a fine. So I, I didn't know what's... I don't know nothing. You know, I got a right to carry. Man, shut up. You a fool. You know, y'all need to let me go. I'm the pastor's son. I'm the pastor's son. Y'all need to let me go. So you looking at your next Lifetime movie, The Pastor's Son. Now, I want you to think hard. Think hard about this. This guy is going up to Lansing. He used to make bills and laws that put people in jail, ruin people's life. He used to, he wanted to be Mr. Know-it-all, sit up and argue with people. Then at five o'clock, he go into his sister-in-law house, go into the girl down the street house, go into the one round the corner house, the damn wife ain't getting no penis. Everybody else got it. In the name of the Lord, because I'm the pastor's son. Now, this, this should be the end of him. This should be the end of Lee Chatfield. The lawyer is standing by, ladies. The lawyer is standing by. This is how it's going to go down. The lawyer over this mess is going to sue the church. The Academy, Lee Chatfield, and the state of Michigan. So you better get, get this the gravy train. You better get on it. Foolishness. They better straighten these churches and these academies out. Because they got the devil, the devil sitting up in church with them. The end is near. It's too much going on. Nobody can help Lee get out of this. It's, it's, he done.